this for Christmas I got this black walnut ink it's handmade and it's organic this ink is made by Howard Lyon go look him up if you don't know who he is he is a fantastic oil painter and he does magic cards and some religious art as well the link to this ink and his website will be in the description. I'm going to be testing these inks on this little toad guy. I was really surprised by the color of this ink. It was lighter than I expected. That could be because I forgot to shake the bottle first. Apparently it's like orange juice. You're supposed to shake it first. To be honest, I really liked the variety and the values I was getting with this ink. I've never used handmade art supplies before, and I was really pleasantly surprised by this. Also, the packaging on this ink is really nice. I'm such a sucker for nice packaging. One time, I bought some hand soap that smelled terrible because the packaging was really nice. I'm speeding this up a little bit just so you guys don't get bored. I wish I drew this fast, it would be really nice and productive. I want this drawing to stay a line drawing since the ink is not waterproof, so I really focus on the values and I'm taking the line work on this piece a little bit further than I usually do, just so that it'll hold up even without watercolors on it. Gotta have some herbal tea, it's really important for art making, of course. You can see that I've made this darker than when I'm planning to paint it. Um, this ink reacts a little different than, than some. When it gets thick, it almost responds like watercolor which I really liked. I felt like I was getting several shades of brown, which was really nice. You know how a really nice watercolor kind of like separates and have different colors in it? I kind of feel like that's what is happening with this ink. I've been drawing a lot of tadpole guys lately with Elizabethan colors. I don't really know why. But, I don't know, having fun with it. I 
as always, I'm trying to push my values to make this little polywog stand out from the background. This ink is so fun to work with. This drawing took about an hour and I didn't have to clean my pen nib even once. That has to be some sort of record. Sometimes I avoid using dip pens just because I know I'll have to be cleaning it out all the time and it's kind of a pain. But I didn't have that problem with this ink at all. So that was really nice. You can see that it kind of looks watercolory there where I get it darker and then it lightens up. That's really fun. I like watercolors. Well, I will link to this ink down in the description box. And I'll have links to my other social media if you want to follow me elsewhere. This little guy will be up on my Etsy store. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks! See you next time!